pollo con huevo. Oh, hi there. My name is Nigel. I'm from New Zealand. And this year, I've decided to do a new project for the Discovery Channel. They've hooked me up. It's called Nigel is Wild. It's a new TV show I started this year, and that's not it. On my way to Central Congo, I pick up two rare albinos. They're a very rare species, like birds. So you'll hear the story next on the Discovery Channel. I found water. Dingo. Well done, Major. I am so thirsty. Right here. Mm. Oh no, it's not mm. time for that. Mabunde. Malak Buga. Mm. Mabunde. Mapunde, no. Niger, the water does not seem clean. It's always pure. It's rock water. Mm. I do not trust this location. It's okay, let's move on. Okay, I listen to you, Niger. Tell Rhino to come along. Mapunde. Mm. No! There is no time to go to the bathroom. We are trying to follow Nigel. Where is Nigel? Nigel! Nigel, you have gone too far! Oh yeah! Mapunde! Papa Mopukuemo! Well, uh, first of all, my name is Ibrahim Moisus. I come from the central district of Congo. Uh, when Nigel came to my village, he said to me, come with me, come help me in the forest. But my mama, she says, do not trust white man. They give money, they take you away. But then I saw so much money come out of Nigel's hands. He said, I need someone like you that knows the forest, that knows the environment to protect me. So I said, okay, I take a backpack. I put stuff in, I, uh, I just leave with him. But right before we left, I said to myself, I do not want to work this hard. I need someone that will help me. So I thought of my dear friend, Mapunde. Mapunde comes from my village also. He was my neighbor. He was in the hut right beside me. And uh, when he was young, he was hit by a rhinoceros. That's why we also call him Rhino. Right here, when the rhinoceros hit him, in the head. The tusk fell down because he is strong like an ox. He is very big and strong. So the, the tusk fell down. And so we put that in a helmet and we took him. And then we thought his name, Rhino, is a funny name. We just, we just thought it was funny. So we decided to keep it. But the problem with my friend Mapunde here, he had a sad story. One time we were, we were just playing like kids, like kids do. We just play. Okay, we were just playing in the woods. We were playing with sticks and stones and we were just having fun, having a good time. And then he hears motorboats. He hears things coming. And we said, it must be the white people. They come in the river sometimes. They bring us toys and gifts and funny things. And all we have to do is answer questions. There's many questions. They are easy questions. And they give us toys. So we run. We run as fast as we can. We run faster than the gazelles. We were fast. And we get there and we see Africans. We don't, we don't think they are from Congo. We, we heard them speak different language. They must have been from Sierra Leone or something like this. Or maybe even Gambon. And so they come and they, they take him. They take Mapunde by the shoulders. They grab him and they put him on the ground. They say, you cannot talk anymore. I don't understand. So I ran. I run away, I leave Mapunde. I did not care for Mapunde at the time. I thought to myself, I can make a new friend. I don't need him. And then they cut his tongue out. They take it out. It's not a funny thing. He's missing his tongue. He cannot talk anymore. But we are best friends, me and him. And we will help Nigel on his little event. 
Mapunde. Mapunde. We will help Nigel on his real adventure. I will do anything to protect him. And I will do anything to protect Mapunde. Nigel, Mapunde, run, there's a lion! Guys.